Today we're going to be comparing two ultrasonic cleaners, the widely used Crest CP500D and the Sharpertech XPS240. We're going to be comparing them on three factors, cleaning ability, noise, and uh, time taken to heat up. The first test we're going to be doing is the time taken to heat up on both of the cleaners. So I'm going to turn the Crest on, these are both going to heat up to 70 Celsius. And the Sharpertech, which is on, but it's still pretty much at room temperature. And we will be back in a minute. Okay, it's been 17 minutes, and so far the Crest has gone up 3 degrees, and the Sharpertech has gone up 9. Now the Sharpertech does hold 1 liter of water less, or the Sharpertech will take about 3 quarters of a gallon, and the Crest takes a full gallon. So the Sharpertech does seem to be heating up considerably faster than the Crest. So after 1 hour, 47 minutes. The Sharpertech is at 70. It's a uh, temperature that we're going to go with. And the Crest is at 66. Now remember the Sharpertech started out a little bit higher temperature. The Sharpertech was at 33 and the Crest was at uh, 27. So both cleaners actually took the same amount of time to heat up. Uh, so both are pretty equal as far as heating power goes. Okay, something interesting to note here is that the crest is set at 70 and yet it is going above that limit. It's currently at 74, so I'll show you what it's set at 70. Um, when the Sharper Tech is maintaining its temperature, it's a little bit below at 68, um, but that's a little bit interesting that the crest is 4 degrees over what it's set for. So possibly the Sharper Tech has better uh, thermal regulation, but we can't say that yet for sure. So I'm going to start by going over the features of the Crest. Um, right here we have ultrasonic power. Uh, this is your select if you want to change time, temperature, or ultrasonic power. Um, this is your heat, so if you want the heat on, hit that button, and degas is right here. Um, obviously the arrows change the value. Um, you do have an ultrasonic power feature, which is probably not going to be very useful, but it's there. Um, that's one thing the Sharper Tech doesn't have. So going over to the Sharper Tech. Um, we have obviously our temperature, our heat control right here, which is a knob, um, power, ultrasonics, and uh, time. Now there's one feature on the time right here. We have um, up by five minutes and down by one minute um, when the, the uh, crest is just in one minute increments, and then degas and sweep. Now the crest has sweep too, however the sweep function is automatic, and the sharper text does seem a little bit more uh, robust than the uh, crest, so we're going to go ahead and start um, the sharper tech and hit sweep. Um, probably can't hear it very well on the camera. The camera is probably all static, I'd imagine. Um, could hear a more um, sharper pulse to it, like it's it's pulsing a little bit more. Um, so we're going to stop this. Now that's not really indicative of cleaning performance at all. Um, so go over to the crest now. Turn it on. So you can see it's sweeping a little bit. The water, the water is definitely moving. Um, another thing to note is the crest has three transducers when the sharper tech has two, um, but the crest does have a larger tank. So degas feature. Um, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but you can hear the sharper tech has a little bit um, a little bit stronger pulse to the sweeping effect. So degas, we're going to go switch to degas um, on the crest. So degas is pretty much just turning the transducers on in pulses allowing the bubbles to rise to the surface. So it gives a little bit of a chance after it uh, turns on the transducers, it turns them off so that the the bubbles in the water will rise up to the surface and evaporate. So the sharper tech, we're going to go over here, show you the uh, degas function of the sharper tech. So they're relatively similar, not quite the same, um, but not both of them. The, degas feature is going to be about the same as far as performance wise. So that's pretty much the features. Um, you, know, you guys decide which one you like better in features. Both are you know, pretty feature rich and both should do the job just fine. Okay, here's the first board we're looking at. This one is going to go 
into the sharper tech ultrasonic cleaner so this is we liquid damaged two boards on purpose and this board has a lot of corrosion to the thunderbolt circuit as you can see here um, excuse it being on my TV because the drivers the microscope camera don't want to work in OBS and it freezes it so you notice we have some pretty heavy corrosion here um, as well as over by um, the thunder another thunderbolt area on the board and this board is marked um, as we have a giant hole right here so we're gonna use that as the designator so we're gonna take a look at the second board this is going in the crest um, we also have heavy corrosion around here the thunderbolt area is pretty corroded pretty badly um, Same over here, we injected 15 volts and this one up to 24 volts into Thunderbolt. And this one is marked. Um, well, this one doesn't have the giant hole, so wait, you could take that missing coil cover for a marking position on the board. Okay, both cleaners are set for four minutes. We have both of our boards. We're going to run four minutes on the affected side. Both are in and on. Both are sweeping. We're going to let these go. Put the lids on. And while we are doing this, let's see if we can take a decibel measurement of both of them. Be slightly inaccurate as both are currently running. But we'll get a baseline and then run each of them and see which one makes more noise. To my ears, I think the sharper tech is a bit louder. So, at the cleaners, we have around 65 decibels. Around three minutes remaining. One nice feature about the sharper tech, it counts down in seconds when the crest should, doesn't. Um, so that is, that is a little bit useful and I kind of like that feature. And also to note the crest is turned up to its maximum power, which is 9. One minute remaining.
Note the crest is running at around 4 degrees hotter than the sharper tech. So that's a little bit interesting. Pretty interesting. Okay, so what we're gonna do we have our two boards here. We're gonna spray a little alcohol on them, uh, just to displace the water a little bit because once we dry them, we're doing the same for both of them. We'll be back in a minute once they dry and have a look under the microscope. Okay, so the boards have dried out out of the cleaner. Um, this is the board from the Sharper Tech. If you remember correctly, uh, we had the uh, that marking on the board. So the first area we're going to go over is this, uh, whatever this thing does. I probably should know that, but I don't know off the top of my head. We have a little bit of corrosion left over. It's not terrible. Um, have some probe points that are damaged, obviously. Um, and if you remember the second area that is corroded, which was the chip right here, it is very clean. We see some little bits of remnants, not even. It's actually pretty spotless. Um, obviously these caps are corroded, but they don't look too bad now. Um, so if we go over to the next board, which is in the Crest Ultrasonic Cleaner, um, if you remember, the corrosion was a little bit stronger on the board that went in the sharper tech. So here's this one, same board. We're going to go over here, and you see there has been a considerable amount of corrosion left in this area. Um, keep in mind, both of these solutions were uh, 115 milliliters of Branson EC. Um, that's where the old ISL was, and here is the old, the other chip. There's was definitely more corrosion left on the on here. I'm gonna have a before and after both boards as well at the end, so you guys can compare them and decide for yourself. But with the amount of corrosion that's left on this board, I can safely say that the Sharper Tech won this battle for sure. Is clean on cleaning performance that is because there is significantly more corrosion left on this board. Um, if we go back down, like especially it's very prominent in this area. When the other board was pretty bad in this area as well, and it's it's spotless. Going back over, um, let's see. Yeah, there was a ton of corrosion on that chip, and not anymore. We didn't didn't use a toothbrush and alcohol, we didn't do any of that. We sprayed it with alcohol, dried it with the hot air on both of them like I do every other board and uh, it seems like the Sharper Tech won this battle for sure in cleaning performance. Um, so like I said, I'll have a before and after comparison of uh, side by side and uh, you guys be the judge. Okay, so we have ran both boards again through another pass. Um, we're going to look at the Sharper Tech. So this is the, as you can see, um, this was left on. This was not taken off, so this is some pretty caked on stuff. Um, otherwise, it looks the same. Going over here, um, this area, still about the same. No other real cleaning that took place here. So that's second pass on the crest. I mean on the sharper tech and looking at the crest it's cleaner however it's still left on corrosion 
Now keep in mind this board was pretty nasty. Um, you saw the before. Um, this is Flux. This is a donor board. We just injected voltage on Thunderbolt. Um, let's see, where is, here's the other Thunderbolt circuit. Um, it cleaned up a, a bunch more off of here, but it's still left it's, I mean, this isn't, this isn't bad. This is pretty clean. However, it, it's still left on more than the Sharp Protect did. So after two passes, leaving on the same stuff, I, I think it's safe to say that the Sharp Protect won this, this battle fair and square. Um, one thing to note, the um, Sharp Protect was a little bit more louder than the Crest. Nothing considerable, but that's something to cons consideration if um, if you're looking for, uh, for noise, um, however, I'd say that, the, uh, that this battle was won by the Sharper Tech.